Piggledy Piggledy and giving the Leaning Tower of Pisa a run for its money. They're not working out so well. So, what my dream has been for quite some time is to have a whole bank of flat file storage. I just think they're so cool. I've looked all over Facebook Marketplace. I've looked over Craigslist. It's just not happening. So, I think I've come up with an alternative solution that won't cost me $1,000 per unit. Why are we heading outside? Because that's where my solution lies. I found these storage units at Lowe's. They are 24 inches deep, 48 inches wide, and 72 inches high. They each have one, two, three, four, five shelves if you include the top and the bottom. And what I thought I'd do is take the shelves from two units and put them into the height of one unit. And that way I can store tons and tons and tons of paper. We'll see what happens. which are not so handy dandy. So let's see if we can figure this out. It's supposed to be a no tool option, but I noticed that it requires a hammer and a block of wood. So I got those ready. And the uh, first part of the instructions say that we have to get the bottom portion um, all set up. So the bottom portion requires four of these legs and that is going to require the cross sections the small section and the 48 inch long section. So we're gonna get this all set up and see if we can do it. Step one is to make sure that these things are lined up. I wanna make sure that I have the large portion of the hole at the top and the small portion at the bottom. And I wanna make sure that I don't get them mixed up on the different legs. We want to make sure that they are the same. Okay, put the little bumpers on, and then I'll get, I think I'll start out with a short cross shelf. So, big portion at the top, small portion at the bottom, push them down, and then I have to hammer them so that they will stay. I can try to push them with my hands, but that's not going to work at all. Nothing is going to happen there. So that's why we need the block of wood and the hammer. Whoa, that's quite a bit of pressure I had to put on that. And it went almost all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to try and make it go all the way down to the bottom here. down at the bottom. See that? It's uh, set just the way it's supposed to be. Now, I need to do, I don't want to go around breaking any windows here. I have a feeling that once I, I get moving on this, it's going to be a little less complicated. Okay. It just doesn't really want to stay. So, section done. Okay, so now I need to do another section like that. Right here. Since I know I need to have it like, well that's 
odd. Why would it go like that? Okay, here we go. Okay, so. This is awkward. So now I got this braced. And let's see if I can push it down with the hammer. Do not, and I repeat, do not use the middle shelf installation tool. I wasted a couple of hours and a whole lot of frustration on this until I looked up another YouTube video that showed me the proper way to install these things. So, when you're adding the second set of risers, or whatever the heck you call them here, first, put together very simple. The bottom one of these into here. The bottom one into there. Bottom one into here. Bottom one into here. sure we're facing the correct direction with the bottom thingies here the small part facing down and the top one in here and you're good that's it oh, it has to come up that doesn't quite make sense but it'll work to be put in
Okay, now I'm gonna start taking it apart a piece at a time. Finally got it finished, so now it's time to see what I can fit in here. Well, here it is, the final project, and the storage unit has a lot more space in it than I was even hoping for. Despite combining the shelves of two units into the height of one unit, each shelf is much taller and able to hold more papers than I had even anticipated. So let me give you a quick tour here. On the top, I've got some things that won't fit anywhere else and I'm probably gonna throw up there uh, works in progress and second shelf is some 3d things that are not actually flat file storage but I got plenty of room for them so they're going to stay here uh, next shelf is completed and published work and there's plenty of room here for more uh, the shelf is wide so I can divide up the sizes into different stacks and um, it's easy to rifle through and see what it is that I am looking for it's kind of nice. And I've even labeled the shelves, finished and published. The next one is finished but not published. And once again, easy to rifle through the papers and see what I am looking for. And I am able to store them in various sizes. The next shelf is where I'm going to be storing all my paper. And below that is my collage material shelf. This is my favorite shelf because it's work that didn't quite turn out exactly the way I wanted it to. However, I can incorporate it into future work and I can just uh, rifle through it here for ideas uh, whenever I am looking for inspiration. Below that, I have some other paper material that I utilize in my artwork, including newsprint. Below that, some mat board frames and some cardboard and the tissue paper here. Uh, the next shelf I have some printmaking supplies and also some stencils that I've been working on. I've been using a lot of cutout stencils lately so I'm storing them here. 
I've got some collage materials for classes I'm working on and some work in progress and some spare boards. Uh, lots more room than I had even hoped for. And not to beat a dead horse or anything, but my favorite feature once again is to be able to pull these out and utilize them the way that I would a flat file and rifle through each and every piece to get some inspiration. It's very much enjoyable for me to do this. And as you'll see here in a second, I think I've already discovered something that I want to use as a finished piece. I'm going to play with these two right here and see what I can come up with. Lots and lots of fun. And now every time I walk by the shelf, I will be able to feel that I have accomplished something. This was not an easy project, but it was a possible project. And I hope that you've been able to learn from my mistakes. So if you decide to build this unit, it'll be quick and easy for you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos on my adventures with art. I'd love to hear more about your art storage solutions and adventures in the comments below.